and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making an aloe vera soap using this fragrance. Uh, it's called Tropical Spice from Wholesale Supply Plus um, and it says it discolors to brown and let me read you what the description of this fragrance is. Uh, it says a warm and complex blend of cinnamon bark, clove leaf, spiced rum, jasmine petals, Tahitian vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. Yum! I mean that and it smells really good. So I think I'm gonna ditch the tropical and go with the spiced rum because I'm coming, you know, I'm late summer right now as I'm filming this, coming into fall, and I mean I thought buttered rum or spiced rum sounded good and fall-like. And uh, to me this fragrance smells kind of warm like that. So that's how I'm gonna roll with this. Uh, it does discolor to brown, so I will probably either take off a portion and leave it unscented and or add a little titanium dioxide in there um, for a color swirl because uh, for my colors I'm going to to amp up the brown I have this magic mushroom from Nurture which is just a really pretty sparkly brown and then I have this azure blue from Wholesale Supply Plus check that out is that gorgeous or what I just thought those two looked really pretty to me together for some reason the brown and the aqua so those are going to be my color swirls so again this will be an aloe vera soap and i will probably add some coconut milk powder in there just because i really like how the aloe vera and the coconut milk work together i think it makes a really wonderful lather uh, and that is what i've got going on i'm going to get everything pulled together and let's make some spiced rum inspired soap all right we've got our oils all ready to go here with kale and clay uh, colloidal oats and coconut milk powder that's what's in here and then here's my aloe vera lye solution which does have a tablespoon of cane sugar before I added the lye crystals uh, and I dissolved those then I added the lye it also has sodium lactate and I put a teaspoon of titanium dioxide in here um, because this fragrance does discolor to brown so um, I'm also going to be pouring off a little bit of the batter before I fragrance so that uh, hopefully it will stay a nice, um, you know, brighter color and, you know, help along with the swirls. But I really wanted that beautiful blue and the magic mushroom brown to come out. So I wanted to go ahead and put a base of TD in here just to keep it, help it along on the lighter side. It's still going to discolor, but I'm hoping it'll keep it on the light side. All right, so I'm going to hand stir in the lye solution. Um, and then we'll stick blend after we get the colors added. There we go. And I think I am just going to plan on doing a nice hanger swirl and then um, we'll let the whole batter firm up a little and I'll come in with my little putty spatula here and just do some scoops on the top is what I'm planning on doing for this. So that's looking good. All right, here is my little unscented portion or what's going to be the unscented portion. And I may add a little extra TD in there too, just to make sure that it's really, you know, nice and light. Because I feel like that'll make the colors punch. So, just enough to get a good swirl going. That'll be good. Let me get my TD. Here's my pre-mixed titanium dioxide. Okay, it's got marbles in there. Um, it's one part water-soluble TD to two parts water. And if you're not going to use it um, up in a couple days, you need to add a preservative to it, which I do, because this will last me about a month. But that's what that is. So I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance in here and get that stirred in, and then we'll split off for our colors. Oh, that smells good. Good, good, good. All right. 
and then this container will be my brown color and this big one here will be that gorgeous blue there we go that's looking good now I'm going to pull this out because I'm going to stick blend our colors so here it is is that fabulous or what gosh I love this color go and, there. and now of course we're going to go lightest to darkest so that would be the white is going to go first let's see if I can pull it in there we go I'm going to tap to get the air bubbles out and then blend It's been about 24 hours, and let's check on our wonderful spiced rum. The top was giving me a bit of a hassle. It's not quite as majestic as I wanted, but I think it looks awesome. I got up really early this morning and went ahead and steamed it, so it's got a little sheen to it. So let's get it out of the mold. But first, I want to show you, just like I do on my wire cutter, um, I need to tighten the wire on my log splitter. And then um, when I'm done splitting the log, I will take the tension off the wire. It helps the wires last longer and not get too stretched out. So I do that every time I'm going to split a loaf. Let me just say, this smells fabulous this morning. I'm really loving this fragrance.
let's get in here and check these swirls out. Oh, I'm loving the colors. That's pretty, very pretty. Weigh it and see if I'm in the right range for my weight on my bars because I cut by weight, not necessarily by size. I mean, they're all very similar in size, but um, I tend to cut by weight. I like my bars to finish out after the cure and be about five ounces, anywhere between 4.5 and 5.5 is what I'm going for. That's a really cool swirl. Oh, I'm happy and they smell fantastic. Let's keep going here. Oh, something about that combination, the teal and the brown, just does it for me. I think that's gorgeous. I love it when this happens. The patterns on the inside, isn't that beautiful? Kind of looks like a lotus flower or butterfly's wings. So pretty. Oh, here's another one. 